What's up guys? Awesome Nerd Show here. Today we're unboxing the BAM box. So we're going BAM BAM BAM. Um, hopefully, I don't know if it's hopefully, but this may be our last box. Who knows, um, after I open this we'll probably maybe cancel it, so it depends on how they do the billing and stuff. We may have another one or this may be the last one, I'm not sure. But just for the price and the items we get, it's um, not equal out, like compared, like for us personally, like the items don't equal, but of course there's going to be something cool in this box, as you can probably guess. Um, because that's how it always works. So, we don't know, maybe. Um, so this theme is indestructible, I believe. Um, so, obviously stuff like that. And fitting with that to start out is we have our pin for the month, and we have an incredible Hulk. Um, of course says the theme is indestructible, and it doesn't say anything else about that. I thought it would say something. But the, um, Hulk kind of looks like a, um, I want to say mosaic, but like the stained glass like type things in churches and stuff is what he kind of looks like in there. So that's a uh, cool pin and stuff. So that's awesome. But what I said is probably be something cool is that we have a Captain America Shield wood model kit. Um, so of course I'm crazy and obsessed to what I'm a fan of Captain America. So this shield's going to be awesome. And it shows on the back that you can actually even paint it and stuff to get it to look like the um, real thing and, or get it to look like the shield and everything. But it looks really cool, so I'm definitely going to be building this. But that's just awesome. Anything Captain America is cool for me. Um, next up we have a pic- or no. This is a comic book. And it's a Vampirella number one. So by Dynamite Comics. And we do have a certificate of authenticity here. Um, let's see if it says it's signed. Let's see, it says, Dynamite Entertainment has issued this Certificate of Authenticity, this copy of Vampirella No. 1, Bandbox Exclusive Edition, as one of a specially limited series of copies signed by Anthony Mar Marquise, something like that. And so he must be the artist, because it looks like his signature down here on the thing. But um, then we have, like, his actual signature there. So that's what that is. Um, I've heard of Vampirella and stuff, but... It's not a comic that I read and stuff, so this is like the kind of stuff like it's cool to get stuff like this, but it has no meaning to me or us or anything like that. Um, if it was something more like relevant, like a Marvel or DC comic type thing, it'd be a lot better and cool and stuff like that. But when they do like the Dynamite and Boom and stuff like that, the not as popular brands, then it doesn't become as worth to us or whatever. But next up we have a print, which is kind of cool. It is kittens, and it's Logan and uh, Laura from the Logan movie. Of course, you have Old Man Logan in the top here. As you can see by his claws, or the like, the Wolverine claws there. Then you have her with her two little um, claws down there and stuff. So that looks really cool. Again, <laughs> and it looks like the cat's carrying it in its mouth, like cats do to their little babies, as you can kind of see, like right here and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, it's a cat picture. I mean, I don't know what we do with it, but it's. It's kind of funny and cool. And this is, of course, has a Bamba certificate there with that. And then we have our last picture. Um, and it's a... Say, this one was signed. Of course, I'll have to look at the book to see who it's signed by exactly. Probably just the artist. I mean, it's just a cat picture. But this one looks like it's signed by an actual somewhat famous person. But it's the Bionic Woman. And it says on the back here that it is um, hand signed by Liz, Lindsay Wagner says who played the bionic woman in the 70s TV show with the same name. And this is a private sign with band box and stuff. So like that's cool but I mean it's a 70s show and I don't know who the bionic woman is. I've never even really even heard of it. Um, but I mean that's cool and everything but like I said for us not really worth anything. Um, so that's just the only reason problem I have with band box. Like you get cool stuff like getting your know, signatures and autographs stuff like that by famous people is cool. But none of them have been anybody that's worth anything to us or that we care about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We did get the hockey yeah, puck the, signed by Averman. Yeah, the hockey Ducks. puck was cool, but then it's like now we're trying to figure out how to like display or whatever. Because um, we don't have, you know, hockey puck stand or anything. But it, that is pretty cool. Um, but we'll go ahead and look in the box um, here. Or the books. The book that the, comes with it. Of course, as you see, the theme, yes, is indestructible there. And I was wondering if there'd be a Captain America shield because it's um, known to be like indestructible and stuff like that. Um, but we have our pins here of all the options you could get. So you could get uh, Superman, the Hulk, or it looks like Chuck Norris maybe. Chuck yeah, Norris. Yeah, there's Chuck Norris. And then, of course, the limited ones. 
And then you could have a black and white or a colored one there. The black and white Chuck Norris kind of resembles like a Jesus. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the Vampirella issue number one, signed by Anthony Marquise. The Bionic Woman 8x10, signed by Lindsay Wagner. It looks like there are possibly, um, possibly two different options there. Because we have the bottom one. But I don't know if you could have got the other one there, too. Not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, that's all that it shows there. Then, of course, we have Old Cat Logan, signed by Jenny Park. So that's what that's from. And so it looks like there were two options with that, too. You could have got one with the X logo in the background. Like you're in uh, um, Xavier's house or something, like in the basement from the Wolverine or the X-Men movies and stuff. Um, so that one would have been kind of cool. Um, I just think it's a funny picture, um, but again, no real use. And then we have two of the wooden things you could have got. You could have got the Captain America shield like we did, or you could have got um, the um, hidden blade thing from Assassin's Creed, which would have been cool too, but I'm happy with the Captain America shield. I know bro would have liked the Assassin's Creed one, but Captain America is all the way, because I'd be the only one using it anyways, probably. And then we have our theme for next month, which again, it's, it's tempting. But it's Revenge Bad Blood. And then it has the featured items from X-Men, the Toxic Avenger, and Punisher. And I assume... And it looks like Wolverine or possibly Sabretooth or something as the figure. That's I don't Sabretooth. Know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> again, it sounds cool, but I don't know if the money's worth it. We might have to because say, of that one. That one maybe because it's got... Um, comic related stuff so like comic book characters and stuff so that one we may have to do um so what was your favorite item out of this box bro uh the pin the pin that's what i was like there's not much to choose from um so yeah probably the hulk pin and mine's definitely the captain america shield i'll definitely be building this if it's easy to do because i know we've had uh other things like this in the past and they don't fit together well and stuff but i'll definitely be trying it at least see i was gonna choose that as my favorite item but now i'm not choosing it out of spite because there's a <laughs> the hidden assassin's blade creed. assassin's creed well here now i have a hidden blade there it's not really hidden it's hidden well um but that's gonna be it for the band box this month with the theme of indestructible so if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up Leave any comments you have down below and let me know what your favorite item is or what you think about Bambox in general, if you get it or not, or thought about it or anything like that. And please hit that red subscribe button to help us grow, and we will see you next time.